Hey there, Mark here with another video. This one here is uh, showing you when you get your new Android box, how to set it up and how to navigate for the first time. This is your home screen that's gonna load up once you uh, get your box all connected. But for now, let's go to your box for a moment. There's my dog, Max. So this is your box. It's gonna come uh, in the uh, main box with a black cord that you can see plugged in right there. That's your power. That's gonna get plugged into the wall. It comes with a black HDMI. I'm using a white one right now that I have already in my TV. And then uh, you plug that into your TV. And then you can see this one right in the uh, middle here. If you have a modem or uh, your router close to your TV, get a piece of Cat6 cable and plug it into the back of this and in the back of your box. And that'll eliminate any uh, little, uh, you know, when you're using Wi-Fi, sometimes uh, it can buffer a little bit. That sometimes eliminate that on the right hand side here you can see this little usb piece sticking outside of it that comes in the back of your remote so when you take the cover off for the back of your remote um, they'll, you'll see this little usb piece just plug it into the side there it doesn't matter uh, one of the uh, other one of those two ports and uh, that's what talks to your remote so that it can communicate and uh, work okay so that's your box then we have your remote this is your remote on the top here, it's got a little on off switch and that's where you plug it in to uh, charge it. Okay, that box in the middle there, that's uh, like a mouse pad. You can use your finger as a mouse pad and then if you wanna select something, uh, just click on the right hand side of the mouse pad with your finger. Otherwise, you're gonna use these dials here, the up, down, left and right and your okay button. That home button right there, that brings you back to that main screen that we just saw up on the TV. Your back button, is either your escape or this little mouse button here on the right that you see underneath the uh, E. Okay, and on this side here, you've got your volume up and down. I usually leave the volume up and just uh, control the volume with my TV. That way it's not, you know, fluctuating so much. And then you've got your pause, play, forward and backwards rewind uh, buttons. Um, and then your keyboard for uh, doing any of your uh, searches. Um, key ones that you're going to need also when you get in the live TV are your F keys, the F1, F2, F3, F4 that you can see across the top there. All right, let's get to your box. I'm just going to switch hands here, make things a little bit easier for me. Sorry, this is your box. I just dropped the remote. And here you go. First things first. Uh, if you don't have it, uh, your box hardwired, mine's set up right now on Wi-Fi. You can see in the top right-hand corner there, uh, the green. But you want to go down to the bottom there where it says ACC and set. Click on that, go into your settings, and then you're going to go up there to network and internet. Click on locate your internet or your Wi-Fi. Click on it, put in your password, and it'll say connected. Once that's done, hit the little mouse button or the escape button and go back and you want to get back to the main screen. This is where you're going to do most of your uh, stuff. Um, on the top here, you can see you've got the Google Play Store there. You can download things if people tell you, you know, try this app out and you want to do it. You can bring that and download it from there. You just have to uh, log in with your email account. You've got YouTube if you want to do searches. And then you've got uh, the internet here. This little rocket ship is for you to uh, clear the cache and clear any of your searches. So if you click on it, see that little rocket ship shoot up. And then at the bottom there, it says that I've cleared so many processes. All right, this blue screen in the bottom here is where I've put all your apps. Click on it. I've loaded three streaming apps, Cat Mouse, Cinema HD, and Cyberflix. And then I've also loaded here Dofu Sports. Dofu Sports is for uh, you know, if you can't find something in the live TV or you want to watch a game, then you should be able to locate it in there. But it's available right when you're uh, ready to watch it. Okay, up here is a thing called Celebrity Android. This is where we do any of your updates. If this screen comes up, click subscribe, put your email address in there and it'll tell you anytime there's updates. I'm not going to do it right now because I've already subscribed to this. So I'm just going to click this little exit in the top here. Okay, what I want to show you here is this is where I've downloaded apps for you. Okay, so any of the apps that are on your box, there are other ones on here. 
they're all listed down the side here. And you can see, um, like recently, Cat Mouse was just updated, um, added on November the 8th, 2020. So there was an update uh, for that then. BTV had an update on November the 5th. And most of them will tell you when there's an update or you'll get an email through that um, uh, email alert that I uh, was just showing you. If you want to um, update something that's really simple, just click down to the app you want. Make sure the green arrow is selected. Click OK. It downloads, brings you to this screen, and then you just click install. Give it a second to install the app. Once it's uh, done, then there'll be a little thing at the bottom that says done. And there you go, click done. It's that simple. You've just updated an app on your box. You don't have to take it to anybody. You don't have to pay $40 to have your box updated. You can do everything right on your box. We make it that simple for you. All right, now if you hit your back button, we're gonna get out of this. I'm gonna show you Cyberflix. Cyberflix is one of your free streaming apps. So it loads up. Right now it's showing all the recently updated TV shows. These are ones that there's maybe been a new episode on there. I'm gonna go down to Chicago Fire because I know there was a new episode on yesterday. Go down to the newest season, season, and we're in season nine, episode one, and there you can see on the top left there, it was last night's episode. And then I just go over here and click play. Every 10 seconds, this blue line goes across the top of your screen. It drops down new streams. They've, I found that there's a couple that their uh, servers are a lot faster. You'll get to know certain ones. Uh, one of the ones that I've found to be fast is this one here that says Canadian Fast Server. It actually works pretty well. Uh, another one here is Cloud Video. So if you see stuff like that, those are the ones you wanna to tend to use. I'm gonna use Cloud Video this time. Click OK, click OK again to play. Give it a second to load up. Start over. And again, it just depends on your internet speed and how fast their server is. But there you have it. And your stream is loaded. And again, it also depends on how many people are streaming at the time. That could sometimes slow down. Streaming has its advantages and disadvantages. Advantages, you can get everything you want. Sometimes, like right now, it's frozen for a second. Um, that could be my internet or that could just be the server. There is um, another uh, service that you can get. I think it costs around 20 bucks for six months and it brings up dedicated feeds and you don't have this problem with the uh, freezing. It's called Real Debrid. If you want more details, just ask me and I can uh, get you the details on that. It works really well. All right, I'm gonna press the home button just to get out of here. Bring us back here because we're gonna go into our live TV. Here you don't have to search for streams when you're in your uh, video on demand section, but first we're gonna start up at the channels. The first time you uh, click on this, you're gonna see this yellow bar loading. It'll load a little faster right now because I've already been in there, but if it's your first time, it might take a minute or so to load up just because it's downloading all the guide on your new box. So we just give it a second to load up. Each time that this loads, um, it's just updating our TV guide and any changes that have been made to the uh, live TV server. It'll always go back to the last channel you were on. I think I was on NBC when I just loaded this box up. And it's gonna be in the full screen. Yep. So now we're on NBC. So I'm gonna turn down the volume for a minute. So to bring it to the TV guide, you press the OK button on your remote and it brings you up to your guide. Here, you can see right now on the top there, it says TV all by number. So that's gonna go through every channel and there's thousands of channels. So you wanna be in the certain sections that you need. So if you follow your arrows, if you see on the left-hand side of your screen there, it says back with the left arrow. If you press the left arrow on your remote, it brings you to this screen. To be under your TV, you go under the TV section. Most of your stuff is gonna be under the English. That's all your networks, your movie channels, uh, kids TV, you name it. It's all in there. Um, 
I've sent everybody uh, a picture of all the channels, but again, if you need it again, let me know and I'll send it to you again. All your sports are down here. If you go down a little farther, you come into your 24 seven oldie shows. So 24 seven oldie TV shows. These are all shows um, that are on a 24 hour loop. Um, whatever episode is on at the time when you click on it, that's what's on playing at the time. So for instance, on this Highway to Heaven, it will play the show in order of episode until it gets back to the beginning. So I don't know what episode, I've never watched this show right now, really, but um, say this is season three, episode six. It'll keep playing until the end of season three is done, then it'll go to season four, then season five, and so on, till it loops back to the beginning. And there's uh, right now 162 different TV shows you can watch on a loop. Uh, we've got retro and new cartoons, stand-up comedy, and 24-7 movies. But I'm going to go back to English for a moment. So here we are in English. I'm on NBC again. No one's daily C. Sorry. Just trying to do everything again with one hand turned on the volume so you can hear me talking. So you can scroll through this and you'll find all your channels. If you scroll down farther, you get into all your cooking and your TLC and all that kind of stuff. Scroll down farther, you get into your National Geographics. And you keep going, Discovery, and then there's your movie channels, and so on. If you want to make any channels favorites, right now you can see uh, there's those buttons along the bottom there, View, Sort, Favorite, and Move. Those are your F1 keys, F2, F3, F4. So favorites, being the third key over, is F3. So if I want to make that a favorite, I press F3. It puts a little star beside the channel. And then if I want to sort just by my favorites, press F2. And right now we're sorted by number. I can sort by only by favorites. And there it is. If I want to take a favorite off, I just press F3 again. And then I just have to make sure that I'm sorting by number. Otherwise, I'm not going to see any of the other channels. So, and then we are, we're back. That's live TV. If you scroll out and press the back button again and get to this menu, you go across to video on demand. Here's our video on demand section. I always check the new releases just to see what has been uh, downloaded recently. If you want to do any searches, you can actually go into each genre. Or if you want to do a search by the whole database, just make sure you're in the all section. There's uh, right now you can see over 11,000 recordings in there. And then you can go and uh, do it. If you were watching something like Private Eyes, which is a TV show, you go to the actual uh, show, click on it. It brings up, there's 10 episodes. Click on whatever episode you want to watch. Click OK. And this just loads up like you just put a DVD in. So it's just like loading a DVD. There's no looking for streams. So this is your best place anytime you want to look for uh, a TV show or a movie. If you can't find it in here, then go use one of those streaming apps that I've uh, loaded for you. Uh, again, there's the Polar Express. It was just loaded on there. Click on it. Give it a second and it loads right up. You don't have to look for a stream. These are solid streams. These are the best high definition streams that you would find if you were looking in those other apps. You can use your buttons and you can pause it. I can fast forward and it just go ahead to where it was that I was uh, six minutes into the movie. And there it is. Again, use your uh, mouse button to press the back and you get back here. You can uh, sort again by uh, favorites and you can make different movies so if you go through the list and you're like oh i want to watch that later watch that watch that you can make them all as favorites if you want to search for a movie in this section the far uh, right hand uh, side you see find so that's the fourth button over if you press f4 it brings up this search bar click ok and now you can type in so if i wanted to type in say die hard i type in die and it brings up everything that has die in it now there's a little glitch if you're trying to use your uh, space bar on your keyboard it's going to select the top show that's uh, listed there after the flames so i usually back out of this pressing the back button press f4 again and do another search and now it brings up this keyboard menu so now you can use your keyboard and type in die but then you want to use your mouse and you can see my little mouse moving down here you actually want to use the space bar on there 
So you just get it on there, click OK. Now I can type in the second word, Die Hard. And there you can see there's all the Die Hard movies. So to get rid of the keyboard in the search, you just press your back button once, press it again, and there's your different Die Hard movies. Click on Die Hard 2, give it a second, and it loads up. And it's that simple. So that's uh, live TV and video on demand. Don't use the YouTube in here, use it on the main page. If you want to see when your uh, month is ending for your live TV, if you click on your uh, account information, it tells you right in there that your subscription expires on the 13th of December, 2020. All right, I'm gonna press my home button and that takes us back to the beginning here. That's it, not too hard. Took us 14 minutes to go through that. If you ever need to go back, just have a look at this video. If you have any questions, feel free to message me at any time. But the, uh, the box is pretty straightforward and easy to navigate through. Uh, Netflix is on there. You do need to have a Netflix account. But there is no need for a Netflix account or Prime or Disney. Because if you go into our live TV section, all the movies from Netflix, Prime, Disney Plus are all in our video on demand section. And if you don't find them in the video on demand section, they'll be in one of those free streaming apps. So cut the cord with everybody and save yourself some money. All right, that's it for this video. If you have any questions, like I said, feel free to message me. Thanks, guys.